Hey there, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. Doing a pretty, what I think is a pretty fun quest here. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how we ended up in this situation. Uh, we need to get into this restricted wing of vault -Tec University because the Overseer uh, is hoping that we'll find some information that will lead us to some hidden treasure in Appalachia. Um, but um, the professor bot here at vault -Tec University won't let us into the restricted wing unless I graduate from the university. So I'm taking a final exam, which takes place in a vault simulation. So I hope you watched the last episode. Um, because uh, if you did it, you're probably going to be a little bit lost. But um, we're basically trying to find out... We're not trying to find out. We're trying to solve a dispute between the medical team and the engineering team. And I spoke with these guys last time. I want to speak with the medical staff and see if they have anything to tell us. The engineers are to blame for all this nonsense, not us. Okay, so that's what he thinks. Keeping the vault healthy and productive, Overseer. Uh-huh. You'll need to talk to Dr. Loras. He's in charge. Oh, okay. Keeping the vault healthy and productive, Overseer. Keeping the vault healthy okay, and so productive, Okay, so that's all these guys overseer. have to say. They have nothing useful to tell me at all. How do I get out of here? Here we go. And I suspect probably something similar will happen when we go down and talk to the engineers. Before we do that, let's just look around a little bit. You know, maybe we'll find some information that'll help us make our decision. I'm not really sure what I'm expecting to find. Um, but we're going to look around because it's fun to explore. And it's fun to pick things up. Even though I really don't need to be looting all this crap. I need to stop. Um, but yeah, I just want to look around and see if there's anything. Maybe we'll find some the terminal belonging to the engineers even though they're robots. I don't know. Let's talk to the engineers and see if they have anything to say. Working hard, Overseer. That's what I like to hear. Just doing my job, Overseer. Okay. Head Engineer Brass is the one you want to be talking to. Mm, I already did. Working hard, Overseer. Okay, so nothing new there. Well, let's look around this place before I go right to the reactor area. Uh, I'm not sure what I expect to find in a bathroom. Uh, but let's check. Let's just look around, man. Got a TV here. Another bathroom with some Mentats in the mirror. Ooh, these dumbbells have lead in them, I believe. Use that for ammo. Maintenance here. Interesting. I'm the overseer. Can I go in there? The hell? The freaking overseer. Catch in here. recipe that we already know. Okay, let's go upstairs. Over here, residential area, there's a little pool table out here. Man, it'd be, it'd be really, really hard to shoot pool from this angle. <laughs> oh, okay, we're not going to be able to go into residential. Alright, fine. Lock me out, see if I care. Here is the Overseer's place. Is this the way I came in? Yep. Okay. Is it? Is it you making the... Why do you get your weapon out? What are you doing? <laughs> why do you have your weapon out? Come on, let's go. Okay, I want to see what screening is. What's this? Ah, oh, an inaccessible sliding door. That's a bummer. Another exit. Showers. locker room here and then this 
Sure enough. Take us to an exit. But I don't want to exit. It's nothing that's going to help me out there, I don't think. Boy, she's loud. Okay, well. Um... Let's go to the reactor area. And we'll search around in there. It's going to be pretty irradiated. But I feel like I can handle it. We'll find out. So far, so good. Doesn't seem to be too irradiated right now. Looks like maybe there's a body over there, maybe? Let's go see. Terminal here. Power terminal. I need to get into it. <laughs> Maintenance logs. Data corrupted. Okay, it's getting a little irradiated here, but not bad. Here's a Stella. And Kelman. They're, they're in here together. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So, Estella is the... The medical staff person who... This medical staff... Person who went missing. Well, let's listen to... Estella's holotape. This is going to be enlightening, I hope. This is Estella, Dr. Loris's assistant. I snuck into the reactor mm. to help Kellerman, but there's not enough time. Hmm. The reactor is going to go critical. Hmm. I'm dosing Kellerman with enough right away so he can finish fixing it. But the radiation is going to get us. At least... The vault will be safe. Well, there you go. So she came in. She's the hero. She and Kenneman are heroes, man. And she, she's a hero. She snuck in here. If she hadn't snuck in here to dose him with some rat away, he may have died before he was able to fix the reactor and everybody might have died. She's a hero. This changes everything. This changes everything. See what's up here. Um, well, not a whole lot. <laughs> Exit. Take us out of here. I don't want to do that. Let's go, man. We have new information. I need to end the conflict. Nope, there's new, 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 new text here. I do need to deliver Estella's holotape to Robinson, though. He needs to hear this. This changes everything. I mean, I think it changes everything. I don't know, Robinson, Robinson still might think that Loris is a murderer. your service overseer oh that's it huh okay can't talk to him can't can't talk to him about the tape we just found so we're gonna talk to Robinson about it and see what he has to say what do you think about this buddy boy huh what do you think about this overseer huh we'll see uh oh you're not Robinson <laughs> all right Okay, I, I, I returned it to Robinson? Okay. Seems like I would want to return it to one of those guys. But no, it says to return it to Robinson. So here you go, Robinson. Here it is. Did you have a question, Overseer? Um, if you had to arrest Brass, Brass or Loris, who would it be? It's not really my place to say, Overseer. But taking either of them in could spell trouble. They each have a loyal team to call on. Yeah. Well, I found Estella. She had this holotape on her. 
You found her? Poor lass. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Let's take a listen then. Uh, so she wasn't murdered. She was trying to save Kellerman. Two of them ended up saving us all. This is big news, Overseer. Mm -hmm. We take this to Brass and Loras, it could end the infighting for good. You think? Hold off for now. I need to think this over or gather that up. Let's put this ugliness behind us. I just want to see what he says if I say this. Oh, very well, Overseer. If you think that's best. Not really sure what I need to think about exactly. It's not like I could go talk to them anymore. Um, so yeah, let's round them up. Anything I can do to help, just ask. Yeah, Rand, let's round them up. Oh, okay. you ready to show it to Loris and Brass? It could end their feud for good. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Let's end their feud for good. Gather them up. Let's put this ugliness behind us. At once, Overseer! Everyone, gather in the common area! <laughs> we have an important announcement from the Overseer. I mean, who who wouldn't solve this this way? What other way would you just arrest somebody? Hello. What's this about Robinson? I have charge to update. Maybe the overseers finally decided to throw your murderous backside in jail. That's enough. <laughs> the overseer has discovered what happened to Estella. This hollow tape. Proof she went into the quarantined reactor area on her own. She and Kellerman saved the vault. They work together? Medical and engineering? Oh, we've been fools, Brass. Bickering like two old men while the young ran off to solve our problems. It should have been us. I <laughs> actually agree with you there. So that's it then? No more arguing. You'll both work under the Overseer's authority? Yes. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Good job. That's a solution any Overseer should be proud for getting to. Everyone learns we have to work together. Thanks, Mom. Okay, now we're supposed to go back and talk to Professor Bot, but what if I try to talk to them again? Congratulations on finishing the vault simulation. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for me too. Hope you enjoyed the simulation. I really do enjoy <laughs> the part of the helpful security chief. I do say so. Well, you played it well. Congratulations on finishing the vault simulation. I was rooting for you. Let's see what they say. Exam's over. Back to cleaning up, I guess. <laughs> I hope you learned something. I don't understand this vault nonsense myself. Exam's over. Oh, okay. Back to cleaning up, I guess. Yeah, because these are janitorial robots. They're just playing roles. So yeah, they, they don't understand this vault nonsense. Phew, simulation is over. I get so nervous, you see. I hope I didn't break character. <laughs> Another fine day at Vault Tech University. Am I right? You're right. Phew. Simulation is okay. over. I get so nervous, you see. I hope I didn't break character. Look how proud she is. Looks like it's back to Professor Bot. Looks like it. I'll admit this wasn't a terrible simulation. Some good lessons to learn. If you were paying attention. <laughs> let's see if that old bot will finally give us the access we need. Yeah, let's see. I've completed the vault simulation. I should talk to Professor Bot and see if that's enough to graduate and gain access to information about the treasure in the mountains. Looks like it's back to Professor Bot. Let's go back to Professor Bot. Let us do exactly that. Come on, Trompy. Let's go. You're not going to sneak up on anybody with those shoes you're wearing. It's pretty cool though. The vault in here. That's neat. I like it. Those are strange sound effects again. I do not know where they came from. 
Maybe I'll find out one day. I don't know. Maybe I never will. Maybe it'll remain a mystery forever. This should take us back outside. Yeah, I don't want to go back outside. The noise is coming from here. Oh, it's him. It's this, this guy. Oh, I never did read this terminal. Liam Hornwright's workstation? Senior thesis, Liam Hornwright. Abstract. An experiment for determining the ability of canines to form a self-governing society. Basically, the experiment will involve a group of dogs trained to train other dogs to perform typically human-run tasks. I've begun training my miniature schnauzer, Riley, to operate vault doors, which I think is a promising start to the experiment. I'd be happy to bring her in any time to demonstrate. Advisor responds, <laughs> Mr. Matthews, this proposal lacks any kind of substantial value and makes me seriously question your devotion to the project of the preservation of the human race. Please see me and we can talk about a serious proposal if you can manage to find my office. Best Dean Harland Elliott, President, Overseer Training Advisory Board. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Here is Drew Collingsworth's workstation. Senior thesis Drew Collingsworth, abstract. An experiment for determining the optimal density of calories in a foodstuff versus storage space. This experiment will test the tolerance of various individuals' ability to consume food of unvarying texture, but allow them to design flavors or use pre-created flavors. In this experiment, there will be a control group that uses a standard regimen of vault supplies and an experimental group that subsists on nothing but my proprietary food paste formula. See attached materials. Proprietary food paste formulation. Ingredients are as follows. Dried yellow peas, garbanzo beans, pea protein, dried egg product, canola oil, whole, gra whole ground flaxseed, ground miscanthus grass, pea starch, olive oil, choline chloride, coconut oil, fiber, fish oil, inulin, whatever that is, salt, zinc sulfide, vitamin E supplement, iron amino acid chelate? Don't know that word ferrous sulfate, niacin supplement, manganese amino acid chelate, vitamin A supplement, thiamine mononitrate, vitamin B12 supplement, vitamin D3 supplement, calcium iodate, and dried lactobacillus acidophilus fermentation product. Boy, if your mouth isn't watering by now. Proposed flavor profiles. Below are a list of potential flavor profiles and components that dwellers can use to create new meals. Base flavorings, sweeteners, sucralose, dulcin, sorbitol, xylitol, alatame, bittering agents, ground ivy, bog myrtle, marigold, gruit, souring agents, vinegar, cacri, anardana, kokum. I've never heard of any of these. <laughs> I've heard of vinegar. Salts. No salt will be provided as it is part of the base paste. Texturing. All preparations will have the same texture. Spicing. Capsaicin. Um, or however you say that word. D-flavored chilies. Ethyl acetate. And something else there. Umami. Mon monosodium glutamate. Premixed flavorings. Almond. Banana. Beet. Brewer's yeast. Chili. Chicken. Cappuccino. Fish. General. Herring. Honey. Lemon. Lime. Liver. Oatmeal, orange, peppermint, red meat, general, sour cream. Advisor response. Mr. Collingsworth, your proposal has come a long way, and the board has agreed to give you one month of vault time starting on October 15th of this year. We will accelerate your leadership classes and pull you from unrelated or less important classes. Congratulations, Dean Harland Elliott, President, Overseer Training Advisory Board. Good job, Drew. Well, we all know what happened there. It wasn't pretty. Uh, any more terminals I could read? It doesn't look like it, does it? 
So I don't know if these terminals were here pre-Wastelanders or not. If they were, I think I missed them. Because I don't remember reading those terminals. But I do remember reading the results of Drew's experiment with the food paste on that other terminal. All right, Professor Bot, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, it appears you passed the test, barely exceeding my low expectations of you. Barely? What are you talking about? Why so sarcastic? I thought you wanted graduates. <laughs> I found your simulation dull and uninspired. Zero stars. <laughs> or we did what you asked. Now we need access to the restricted wing. Why are you being so sarcastic, dude? I thought you wanted graduates. Your success is simply a reminder of the appalling standards I must now deal with. You are lucky. We grade on a curve. You are now an official Ooh. graduate of Voltec University. Entitled to access to the Restricted wing. Cool. I'm so excited. Back down in the vault. Simulation space mm. is a maintenance area. It conceals a secondary room that I believe will have what you are looking for. It was almost good to see you again, Professor Bot. Yes, Overseer. I suppose it was. Done. Congratulations on one of your residents passing the program. You must be proud. Actually, I am. Afraid I don't have my old cap and gown to share with you. Hopefully, what we'll find in the restricted wing will be even better. Hopefully. Uh, anything else you want to say to me, Professor Bot? Thank you. To this university, a small portion of your considerable ignorance has been eradicated. I hope you are grateful. Boy, am I. Do not squander your education. Okay. Our business is concluded. Goodbye, graduate. What would you like to say, Overseer? Keep an eye out. Oh. Who knows what vault was hiding in the restricted wing? Be careful. Who knows? Let's go. Okay, let's go. So now our quest says, I'm an official graduate of vault University. We can finally get into the restricted wing and hopefully learn something about the true nature of the mysterious treasure in the mountains. All right, well, we need to go right back to where we just were and go all the way down into that uh, restricted place. Are there more rooms that I didn't go in? It sure looks that way, huh? Ooh, purified water, we'll take that. Ooh, last day of school. Well, you know what I need to do here. You know I need to scroll through here and see if I've already listened to this. And I, I would think that I have, but I don't know, man. Maybe not. I do not have a, a tape called Last Day of School, so let's listen to it. Turn down a potential boss once again. If you told me when I first got here that I would be anything other than the overseer of a control vault, I wouldn't have believed you. Now that I'm here, I'm a little more realistic about things. The overseer at Vault 96, one of the hottest postings outside of 76, wouldn't even give me the time of day. The man sent me a form letter as a rejection, for God's sakes. <laughs> at this rate, I'm gonna end up shipped out to the West Coast to work as a janitor in 29 with a bunch of obnoxious rich teenagers or something. <sighs> it's pretty clear to me now. That vault tech is a hive of nepotism and ass <laughs> You can't get ahead unless you attend every lecture and write every paper. <laughs> There's no respect for passion. What? And some of these kids... <laughs> they just don't understand what vault tech means. Meanwhile, I have to take my third run at senior thesis. 
Should be entertaining to get rejected by Dean Elliot yet again. <laughs> Anyways, cash is tight, so I'm gonna take part in hopefully my last thesis project in the Sim Vault. This kid seems fine, and his experiment is about food, so I get to eat well, at least. <laughs> That was hilarious. She's all upset because they actually expect her to do work. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, here is uh, Michael Blake's terminal. Warning, unable to connect to university intranet. Only offline files and directories accessible. Course syllabus templates. Syllabus for course number, course name, semester, professor, contact information, blah, 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 blah. Notes to self. Horse Creek Petroglyphs. Had a chance to go study the Horse Creek Petroglyphs in person. I've been meaning to do so ever since moving to West Virginia. They have always fascinated me. The idea that Europeans landed in North America and traveled that far inland during the 6th or 7th century is fascinating. Now, whether it was written in Old Irish Ogham, Basque, or some other ancient language is up for debate. Personally, I prefer the Basque translation, as it paints a vivid picture of a great bison hunt. But regardless, it's exciting to study and theorize about any petroglyphs in our own backyard. Jacqueline. Jacqueline brought more of her notes around the other day. Still not sure what to make of those runes. They don't match any of the native petroglyphs in the area, nor do they match any of the old European runes I would have expected. Still, I'm confident I will find a match somewhere, and if not there, may be enough to go on to piece together a rough idea of what they say, if anything. I'm beginning to think it may be nonsense, but I am intrigued. VTU. Ever since vault Tech bought out the university, they've been shifting focus away from classic education and moving towards more specialized classes. I've seen several other professors get the boot, but thankfully, I seem to have been spared thus far. Ah, oh, this was a professor. I should feel lucky that they believe language is a skill worth preserving in the event society collapses and we all need to move underground. Guidestone Translation Jacqueline has instructed me that she would feel safer if I moved the translation key offline. The woman is paranoid, but I don't disagree that it's for good reason. It is because of this that she insists on keeping the original notes with her. She says it's for the best, just in case someone gets to one of us, so none of us have all the pieces. Even Agent Wilson's taking precautions. We could be onto something big here. What the heck is this all about? Then again, I still maintain the runes are simply ancient petroglyphs left by the indigenous peoples of the region. Jacqueline believes they may be extraterrestrial in nature, but I'll stick with Occam on this one. The hypothesis with the fewest assumptions is often the correct one. Huh. Okay, interesting stuff going on up here, right, Overseer? And here's the Dean's office that I've never been in before. Fancy toilets. Why is the sink so high off the ground? <laughs> what, what is that supposed to signify? Before we go to the Dean's thing, let's go in here. It's just another bathroom. I wonder if we're going to find that Jacqueline person's body. <laughs> Why is the sink so high? Get out of the way, here. What? <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, let's uh, let's look at this guy's terminal here. Uh, a safe here. I guess we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, although this might unlock it. So let's just get into this thing first. Dean Harland Elliott's workstation. Snot? <laughs> really? No likenesses. West. It won't be west. Could be cave. It's not cave. So it won't be damn. It won't be camp. Um, it could be with. One likeness. Died. Could be died. Oh crap, I'm locked out. Dog on it. Let's see if we can't get into this safe here. Need to put on all my lockpick things because this is a level three. Go 
gonna probably go through some bobby pins here. Alright. Round Stimpak Medex mod paint. Okay. Oops. All right, let's try this again. I can't believe I could, didn't get in this first time. It's four freaking letters. Rise, no likenesses. It won't be pick. Could be cork. It's not cork. It won't be tile. It won't be most. Um, it could be fell. Two likenesses. Also, it won't be shot. It won't be test. It won't be dean. Or base. Or dark. Or news. Fold. Oh, come on. Gosh. It's four letters. Good grief. Man. Uh, still locked out. Come on. Man. Door. Sign. Uh. Gosh, it could be must. Finally. Student thesis evaluations. Liam Hornwright. My understanding is that Mr. Hornwright is attending school primarily to party and spends the majority of his time in a haze of marijuana, hence his absurd and hastily banged out proposal. However, his family connections make him a potential liability, so we will have to see how we handle his future training. H. Elliot. Drew Collingsworth, this is the food paste guy. Collingsworth's proposed experiment has evolved beyond my wildest expectations. His initial proposal mirrored other successful food replacement schemes and even showed a little imagination for once. I pushed him towards a more interesting experiment that should test the general willpower of individuals and how they react to deaths caused by food supply. I've tasted his pastes and they're suitably horrible, so we're going to mass produce them and add an art arterial placking agent that should cause rapid circulatory system decline. I expect a full-blown revolt within two weeks and we should be able to end the experiment in the middle of week three. Holy cow! So there was more to it than just the paste thing. They, they actually caused these people's health's decline. Jeez. Shelby O'Rourke, I remember her name. I think she was looking for cryptids, maybe? O'Rourke has proven to be a persistent enough has proven to be persistent enough to convince me to grant her a small amount of funding for her thesis project to provide evidence of so called cryptids. Should she prove the existence and have appropriate data, this would be a major breakthrough that vault can surely benefit from. If anything, it gets her out of my hair for a few months. Should she not return within her given time period, we'll need to find a team to locate wherever she hold up and retrieve any data for investigation. <laughs> and then safe control. We already unlocked it. Okay. Interesting stuff. Man, I wonder if all this stuff was here pre-Wastelanders and I just missed it? And if so, my goodness. What the hell, man? That's some juicy stuff. Juicy, juicy. Alright, back to the vaults. Back down to the maintenance area, which is where the restricted wing is. This is all very exciting. Very exciting indeed. They're still here. So. Hope you enjoyed the simulation. I really do enjoy the part of the helpful simulation. Right, here we are. I do say so. Somewhere past this maintenance area is the restricted wing. Okay. Here it is. I don't know if she's ever going to find me. What the hell was that? What just exploded? What in the hell just exploded? It sounded like it came from out here. B. 
beats me, man. <laughs> I don't know. Into the restricted wing we go. Check this out. Hostile target oh. detected. So we got some security protectrons in here. Mr. Gutsy over there. Well, I wouldn't want to explore this place without any resistance. Ah, that's the way we're supposed to go. But before we go that way, let's check this area out. Cool. Oh man, so much glare. Bunch of bunk beds in here. Terminal here. Oh, the server is not responding. Doggone it. Ah, oh, man, it's going to kick me all the way out of here. Oh. Well, poo. Well, we're going to find out whether I can just jump right back into that quest or not. Huh. Uh, let's see. I'm playing this. It is Tuesday night at 11.53 p.m. where I am. Um, I don't think that there's any scheduled maintenance right now, so I'm not sure what the heck is going on here with the lack of server response. But, um, so this is probably going to kick me all the way out of vault -Tec University. I will need to go back in, but, um, it shouldn't reset the quest. I don't think it will. I hope not. But we had just stuck our nose into the restricted wing, so hopefully um, it won't take us very long to get back to where we just were and to uh, resume exploring that area. But yeah, it's disappointing. Disappointing. Okay, sure enough, we're back outside. And it's going to take a while for the server to, to decide what to do with us got to think for a moment before it realizes what quest I'm on and all this jazz. Here's this guy again. Nope. Yeah, this is him. What are you sitting down here like this for now? Hello once more. What can I do for you? Do I have more questions? Ask away. Okay, never mind. Very well. Was there anything else? No, I already talked to you. Certainly. It was a genuine pleasure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just weird that he's just sitting there at the bottom of those steps. Okay, the game's still thinking Welcome about it. once more to the hallowed grounds of vault -Tec University. I don't like that it says enter vault -Tec University. That's making me a little nervous. Oh, gosh. If I have to restart this whole thing again, I'm going to be very upset. We came in this door last time. Hmm. I mean, I've already spent quite a bit of time on this. All last episode and all this episode. I mean, a lot of time. Oh my gosh, talk to the Overseer. What? Is this the door I came in last time? I'm starting to think that it wasn't. This is not the door I came in. Oh, okay. Why did I think this was the door I came in last time? Oh, it's acting like I need to go in here and up. I can't let you live. Training vault entrance. Yeah, this is that back door into the training vault. What is... Are you kidding me? Do I really need to start this whole thing over? What in the world? Pff, okay. Freaking haunted house. Um, I'm not real sure where the game's pointing me now. Ooh, that, that dude was legendary. Let's go check him out. What do you got? <laughs> Good God. 
mutant's wood left arm. Good God, there is so much crap. <sighs> All right, whatever. I mean, um, mutant's wood left arm. Plus 10 damage resistance and energy resistance if you're mutated, which I am. Plus one charisma. I like my other mutants thing better. Yeah, well, it's basically the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> this one plus 10 damage resistance and energy resistance if you're mutated. The thing with this one, though, is that it's, it's heavy combat armor, so it has a 20 damage resistance, whereas this thing... Huh. Is wood. But it has a 22, but only 6 against... Um... Electricity. Interesting. Well, I still prefer what I've got instead, although this is a lot lighter. But this is worth a heck of a lot more. Not that it matters. Anyway, so... What is going on here? That... I mean... Oh, I left my uh, lock picking thing on there. So here we are back in this area. The bodies are still here. Oh gosh, the hollow tapes on her. Are you kidding? Am I really going to need to do this again? Oh, now I got to go in this way. Yeah, just open the damn door. So yeah, I've taken a strange way in here. Oops. Oh, okay. Golly. They're all milling about in here. Oh my gosh, it's looking like I have to start this all over again. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding. I have to finish this whole quest in one take? He's here again. What in the world? in here talking to the robot again. Look at this. I'm gonna start this whole damn thing over again. It does not matter what you may have. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta start this whole thing over again. Well I'm gonna end this episode here. I see and maybe after time passes the game will reset itself. I don't want to go through that whole thing again. This ridiculous That's ridiculous. Request of yours. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Come back next time. See what happens.